Hello, and welcome to a presentation of Credit Union Analytics presented by CFS Consulting. There are many areas in a credit union to look at in terms of analytics. Today, we're going to start with loan applications. There are many different ways you can get the data into Spotfire. Today, we're just going to use a file, which you could use SQL Server or Oracle or many, many others. To start with, we'll want to review the data before it comes in to make sure that everything is coming in the way we expect it. I happen to be familiar with this particular data set, and I know that loan app ID isn't an integer, it's actually a string. So we'll go ahead and correct that before we even bring in the data set. Now that we have that fixed, we can now bring in all of the data into Spotfire. As you'll notice, there are about 300,000 records in this particular data set. It'll take just a moment for Spotfire to import everything into the Spotfire analyst. Now that we have the data in Spotfire, we can go ahead and close the recommendation engine. It can be very helpful at times, but today we want to go ahead and look at the data set. So now that we've got a, a table here, we're going to kind of take a look at the columns, just kind of see what we've brought in. We've got a lot of date columns. We've got a loan app type. We've got a status. Looks like a borrower's credit score that we can go work with. Now that we have a basic idea of what's in here, let's go ahead and get started. Let's add a new page. Let's just see how many applications we're getting over time. Let's start with initial entry date, and we'll do year and month, so we kind of get a little easier line to work with. And let's do row count. When working with time series data, it's important to make sure that you're comparing apples to apples. We'll kind of notice here that May looks like it's quite a bit lower than everything else, so we may be working with a partial month there. So let's just go make sure that we are only using full months in our data set. Let's go ahead and move this to June 1st. We'll make our end date 831. That looks pretty good. We're good to go. Now that we have our dates corrected, it's pretty clear that we're seeing a decline in our loan applications over time. So but we should probably find out if it's a certain kind of application that's changing over time. It looks like that we're actually seeing a decline in vehicle loans over time and the other loan applications are staying fairly stable. So we may want to focus our time a little bit more on just vehicle loans. So we'll come over here and filter out personal, mortgage, and credit card to give us a clear idea of what's changing. Now that we've focused in on a specific problem, let's see if we can't get a better understanding of what's going on here. We know the credit score was a part of this particular data set. So we may want to use that to kind of get a better idea of what's changing over time. Now we're going to do a bend because it's probably going to be pretty hard to understand what's changing if we try and look at, at each individual credit score. So we'll kind of add some groups here. Let's do 650, 550, 750, and let's say 800 is our top level. Now that we have our credit score bend, we can now look at it on our chart. So let's go ahead and add it to the color by. Well, and that's kind of interesting. It looks like some of our higher end credit scores have not really changed too much. It's actually our lower end credit scores. So 550 to 650 and 650 to 750. Now that we know that the credit score that people applying have been changing, more importantly, the lower credit scores have been declining over time, we should probably find out if that's affecting how we're doing our approvals. We're going to go ahead and update this chart to look like our other ones. So we'll change to initial entry date, year, month, and row count, same as before. And we'll change our color by value to our loan app code description so we can see the different statuses for each of the loan applications. We can see by the color by feature on the right hand side that we've got about 15 different groups here. That's going to be a little bit hard to work with. So we'll use a feature to kind of group those. So we'll add a bar chart, and we'll once again add our loan app code description, and we'll do row count. So let's make this horizontal, make it a little easier to work with, and do sort bars by value. Now that we have that, let's see if we can't group some of these together. So let's see if we can't get all of our approved statuses together all into one group. We'll just use the group from Mark to we'll call this approved. And we have all those together. That looks a little better. So let's take the decline. We'll put 
those together. Call this decline. And we'll call this last group just other since it doesn't really have a home with anything else. Now we have everything grouped together and it's going to be a lot easier to work with. With that complete, let's go back to our previous chart and change this color by from loan at code description to the one we just grouped. Now we can start to see a little bit clear that our approvals are, have gone down a little bit, but not nearly as much as the declined. Based upon this new information, we can now make a very different decision about what to do next compared to just looking at all loan applications and seeing that they've declined over time. We can see that it's the declined loan applications that have changed more. That may allow us to make a different choice than if all loan applications have declined over time. From all of us at CFS Consulting, we appreciate your time in watching this video. We hope it has been helpful in getting a better understanding of how to use loan applications in credit union analytics.